Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Beginner's Guide to Roblox Scripting series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about objects. If you're following along with the book, this is chapter 3. So, we've learned how to create an object using instance.new and we've also briefly touched on how you can create a variable to store an object. So I'm going to go to my script and remember that instance.new part game.workspace. This line of code creates a new part and we can set a variable called my part so we can say local my part equals instance.new part game.workspace to set the new part to my part. So now whenever we say my part, it's going to refer to that new part that this line of code created. So if I print my part, it's just going to print part. So I'm going to click play. And as you can see, it printed part. And this part right here is basically this part that it created. So now we're going to talk about parents and children. Wait, parents and children? Yes, parents and children. So this part that we've created, let me click play here. So our code created a part and the part has a parent and the parent of that part is this workspace right here. So parts parent is workspace. And how do I know that workspace is the parent of part? Well, if you look at the Explorer, this icon is right here. And if you keep going up, 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 and then you look left, you see another icon. So this part is held by this workspace. And if you click on this arrow, it will collapse the view. If you click it again, it will expand the view. So workspace and part. Parts parent is workspace. So it shouldn't surprise you that workspace has a child called part. So how do I know that part is a child of workspace? Well, you see workspace right here. You click on the arrow to expand it. And these are workspace's children. So camera is a child of workspace. Terrain is a child of workspace. Me, I am a child of workspace. Base plate is a child of workspace. And part is also a child of workspace. So base plate's parent is workspace and workspace child is also base plate. So once again, all of these objects right here they have a parent, which is workspace. And all of these things are called objects, by the way. So everything that you create using instance.new, which is this thing right here, it's an object. Everything under workspace is an object. All of these things right here are basically objects. So everything inside of Explorer is known as an object. So all of this stuff right here, camera, terrain, me, base plate, part, they are all objects. And when we did instance.new part game.workspace, we created an object called my part. Okay, so we know that my part equals instance.new part game.workspace creates a part and it puts it inside of workspace, which is also this thing right here. So that's all nice. But what is this game right here? Why do we need this game? What if I get rid of game? Now I have instance.new part workspace and it gives me an error. It doesn't know what workspace is. It's not a variable. We haven't said local workspace equals something. Like for example, if I said local workspace equals three, that's going to silence it. But then now it's going to try to create a part and set it. And it's going to try to put it inside of workspace, but workspace is set to three. So it's going to try to put a part inside of three. And that doesn't really make sense. So we need a game here. We need a game dot workspace. So basically, remember how everything inside of workspace has a parent, which is workspace. So workspace is the parent of camera, train and base plate. And when you add this game here, you're referring to the parent of workspace. So workspace actually has a parent and in Roblox, we call it game. So game is basically the parent of everything that you see right here. All of this stuff right here. These are called services. Workspace is a service. Players is a service. All of these are services and they all have a parent called game. So when you say game dot workspace, you are talking about game, which is the parent of everything and then workspace. So for simplicity, you can think of game as literally the explore window. So if you're trying to refer to workspace, you would do instance.new part and then you'd say game. And then when you write game, think about the explore window and you're saying dot workspace. Think about this workspace right here. So this is called a path and it uses something called dot notation. So dot notation is a way for us to get an object. So when we say game dot workspace, we are using dot notation because of this dot right here. So game is think about it as the explorer window or the thing that holds all of these and then workspace, which is the thing that is a child of game. So workspace is a child of game and game is a parent of workspace. So when you say instance that new part game dot workspace, you are telling it to create a part and put it inside of workspace, which is the child of game. So let's say I wanted to create a part and put it inside of lighting. I would have to change this workspace to lighting. So it's going to create a part and now it's going to put it inside of this lighting right here. So if I click play, it is now no longer in workspace. It is now inside of lighting right here. Here's our part. 
So by using this whole thing of dot notation, this is how we can access something in our game. So for another example, I'm gonna go to toolbox and I'm gonna add a tree. So I like this tree, I'll put it right here. This is a tree. And let's say I wanted to access this tree. Like we know the tree is here. How do I get this tree in my script? So what I would have to do, so I would have to say local tree. So remember this local means to create a new variable. Tree is the name of the variable that we're creating. Local tree equals, and now I want this script to know that tree means this thing right here. So how do we get this variable called tree to mean the tree that we see in front of us? So to do that, we have to use the whole thing of dot notation. So remember that we're trying to fetch this tree right here and tree is a parent called workspace and workspace has a parent called game. So we should start here. We should say game. So think about game as the explorer window. Then you say dot workspace. Think about workspace as that. So we have game dot workspace, which is workspace is the child of game. And then we just have dot tree. So once again, game is the main thing. Think about it as the explorer. It's the thing that holds all of these things right here. Dot workspace, which is referring to this. And you had a dot tree. So now our script knows that this little tree right here is this tree right here. So if you print the tree, it will show up on the output as tree. So now we know how to get our script to know what we're talking about. So this is how you can, this is how you can get your script to realize that your tree variable refers to this tree right here. Okay, so now that we know, now that our script knows that this tree is referring to this tree, let's try to add a part inside of the tree. So remember that to add a part, you have to do instance.new part. And now instead of game.workspace, we don't want to put it in workspace, so we wouldn't use game.workspace. We would want to put it in tree. So we would say game.workspace.tree because tree is inside of workspace and workspace is the child of game. So you start at game. Remember that game is the parent of all of these services right here. We think of game as like the ancestor. So game.workspace.tree refers to game.workspace.tree. And now we've added a part inside of tree. So if you click play, the part will not be inside of workspace, it will be inside of tree. So as you can see, there's a part right there and Roblox added the part inside of the tree. So if you look all the way here, here's our part. So you might be thinking, why would I ever wanna do this? So why would I want our script to know where our tree is? Well, we can do a lot of things with it. For example, we can use something called destroy. So we can say tree colon destroy. And this thing is going to literally get rid of our tree because now our script knows that this tree right here, this tree right here is this variable right here. So we can just say tree destroy. And if you click play, it's going to destroy our tree. It's going to literally just get rid of it. It's no longer there. So if you want to get rid of anything in your game, you just have to figure out where the game is, tell it to the script, and then tell the script to get rid of it. So now I'm gonna try to get rid of this base plate right here. So first I'm gonna delete this tree and I'm, I wanna get rid of this base plate. So how would I do that? So I would say local base plate equals, so we're saying create a new variable called base plate and we have to figure out where this base plate is. So we start with game, which is the ancestor, which is basically the parent of everything. So we would say game. Now where is our base plate? So our game is, our base plate is inside of workspace. So we would say game.workspace and then our base plate is right here. So we would say game.workspace.baseplate. Dot base plate. And now let's add a wait five. So we're gonna wait five seconds and then we're just gonna get rid of it. Now we're gonna click play and our base plate will be gone in five seconds. Ready? Here it is and I'm gonna die too. Oh, I'm still alive. No, I'm not. Oh, fell. <laughs> so that is how you can create a variable and make it refer to some object like our base plate then that's how you destroy it. So I'm gonna do one last thing. So we know how to get the base plate. What if I wanna just get rid of this texture on the base plate? So I don't wanna get rid of the whole base plate. I just wanna get rid of the texture. What I would have to do is I would have to say, well, let's just let's do that. So I would have to say local base plate texture equals. So what do I have to start out with? I have to start out with game because game is the ancestor of everything. And then we know that our we know that the texture is located inside of base plate. 
but base plate is located inside of workspace and workspace is located inside of game. So the next thing would be game.workspace, which refers to this thing right here. And then the base plate dot base plate, which is this guy. And then texture dot texture. Very, very simple. And all we have to do now is just wait five seconds and get rid of the base plate texture. So we click play and five seconds later, this base plate will no longer have a texture. So I'm going to wait five seconds and the texture is gone. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.